Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83, and welcome to Let's Play Mass Effect. Well, viewers, here we go again. And uh, for future viewers, uh, just to let you know that this is the first LP I have done since completing the Suikoden 5 LP, which means this is another game that the Holy Spirit has led me to LP. But before we get into the game, I would like to point out that in the video description I have posted, I guess, uh, links to, you know, the resources I used to help prepare for this LP, as well as a few text files that I uh, created uh, uh, using the templates from, uh, using the, 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 I guess, the layout, I guess you'd say, uh, from one of the uh, facts on game facts that I have posted in the video description. Uh, but I added a bit more to it, a bit more information that made it a bit more relevant to, you know, actually... Uh, uh, preparing for the LP and uh, you know it's just a bunch of charts about uh, weapons and it gives you the gives you all the stats of every weapon uh, with the exception of a few of them just because I wasn't able to get my hands on them in the game um, but it just basically gives you the uh, you know the, the stats of it and then it gives you uh, one final stat about the overall effectiveness of that weapon uh, so basically, the higher the over uh, the effective the effectiveness of it, uh, the better it is. Basically, so I've also got text there for the weapons, for uh, Omni tools and bio amps and all that kind of stuff. So it'll help you understand my choices in some of the weapons and all that kind of stuff. So um, and anything else? Uh, no, that's pretty much it. Without getting into the game, so let's get this thing started. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. All right, I will be playing through as John Shepard. However, I will be changing a few things with him. Please log in to access your profile. Not his name. Warning, data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service history. I will be changing his pre-service history. Confirm psychological profile. Confirm military specialization. And I will not be changing the fact that he is a soldier. Just simply because just I actually tend to use all of his weapons, so really. <laughs> it's the best one for me, so yeah, let's go. Confirm facial identification. And I will not be changing his appearance. Profile reconstruction complete. Identification confirmed. All right, so this is how I'm going to be playing the game. I'm going to be playing a normal difficulty. Auto level up is off. Uh, subtitles are on, uh, simply because even though I, I tend to prefer to have them off, uh, but there are I do know that there are a few scenes in this game where the ambient noise does tend to overpower the voices. So that's why I've got the subtitles on. And I've got autosave off, so all right, let's do this. Well, what about Shepard? He grew up in the colonies. He knows how tough life can be out there. His parents were killed when slavers attacked Mindwar. He proved himself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. He's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discover the remains of an ancient space-faring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They called it the greatest discovery in human history. The civilizations of the galaxy call it... Relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. 
All stations secure for transit. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. You always expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker! Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. <laughs> Is it me or does the Captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. We got some experience there Autom automatically. That's kind of awesome. We got the Codex and the Journal pop-up as well. But in the case of the tutorial here, it's telling us to press O for the Codex, so let's do that. Alright, the Codex is... Well, in this game, uh, as you probably saw there, there are the conversations there. You do have the ability to choose how you want to respond. Uh, along the right side of that circle there tend to be answers that are Paragon, Neutral, or Renegade. As far as, uh, obviously there are Paragon Shepherds or Renegade Shepherds. However, I have not particularly chosen chosen whichever one that I want to do. What is going to be happen with my, happening with my choices and those conversations, I will be making decisions based on what I feel is the right thing to do or say at that particular moment. Uh, so I really have not any intention of focusing on Paragon or Reg Renegade or even Neutral. However, I will be, you know, answering, you know, just like I said, how I feel is the right way to answer. Uh, so, yeah, anyways. Also, this game, people who are familiar with it are probably aware that, or probably familiar with the fact that it, it can get a little heavy on the information sometimes. In order for me to try and make this, in order for, you know, me to in, try and make this the most entertaining possible, I have done my best with the Holy Spirit to uh, filter out all of the superfluous information. In other words, some conversations I will be avoiding uh, certain uh, choices simply because either we've already heard the information before or we will uh, gain that information, uh, you know, whether it's mentioned shortly or whether the progression of the story will reveal that to you. Um, so, also with in a, you know, in hand with that is this codex. Uh, there's primary and secondary. Primary are audio codex, and I will be you know uh, letting you guys listen to some of it because this game does a great job at explaining itself. And as far as secondary, they're all text. And you'd have to read them. I'm only going to read one. Uh, but if you ever play this game or if you are playing along, I would actually recommend reading some of it just to find out more about the lore of the, the of. I want to say world, but technically this is a galaxy in this game, so... But yeah, so in this case, I will be reading the personal history summary. I will also post this in the video description for you guys to read. And this is what the basis of this uh, Commander John Shepard will be for this game. Um, and the choices that I do choose throughout the conversations will... I will be doing my best to reflect 
on this. Uh, I guess history, I guess you could say so. All right, here we go. You were raised on Minduar on the fringes of the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, the colony was raided by slavers. The entire settlement was raised and your friends and family were slaughtered. A passing Alliance patrol rescued you, but all you loved was destroyed. You enlisted with the Alliance military and were posted at Elysium. You were there during the Scillian Blitz, an attack on the colony by a massive coalition force of massive coalition force of slavers, crime syndicates, and Batarian warlords. You rallied the civilian inhabitants, leading them in their desperate fight to hold off the invaders. When enemy troops broke through the colony's defenses, you single-handedly held them off and sealed the breach. After hours of brutal fighting, reinforcements finally arrived in the enemy broke ranks and fled. Because of your actions, Elysium was saved, and you are regarded throughout the Alliance as a true hero. So, there we go. That is the basis of Commander John Shepard. All right, so what is the Alliance? Well, let's find out. The Systems Alliance is an independent supranational government representing the interests of humanity as a whole. The Alliance is responsible for the governance and defense of all extrasolar colonies and stations. The Alliance grew out of the various national space programs as a matter of practicality. Sol's planets had been explored and exploited through piecemeal national efforts. The expense of colonizing entire new solar systems could not be met by any one country. With humans knowing that alien contact was inevitable, there was enough political will to jointly fund an international effort. Still, the Alliance was often disregarded by those on Earth until the first contact war. While the national governments dithered and bickered over who should lead the effort to liberate Shanxi, the Alliance fleet struck decisively. Post-war public approval gave the Alliance the credibility to establish its own parliament and become the galactic face of humanity. Cool. On the note of Shanxi, uh, uh, very recently I found a, I guess you could say, a book that chronicled the actual, I guess, an actual civilization, I guess you could say, of Shanxi on Earth. And if I'm not mistaken, I think it was something to do with World War II. I can't remember exactly, but it did have something to do with in the past. And when I read it, I was thinking, really, they named something like that, named something after that. But eh, I guess it kind of makes sense, really. Uh, but anyways, so that taken care of. I guess we got to go speak to the captain. So let's start making our way there. I'm telling you, I just saw him. He marched by like he was on a mission. He's a specter. They're always on a mission. We're getting dragged, right along with it. Relax, Presley. You're gonna give yourself an ulcer. <laughs> Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the Captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Hmm. I mean, what, what's so special about Turians? Not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about his mission. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Ugh, you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? 
Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime's one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. But there's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not gonna screw this up. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Hmm. Sounds like this Nihilist guy, this Turian Spectre, is kind of got the crew interested. Maybe it's about time we found out a bit more about who Turians are. Roughly 1,200 years ago, the Turians were invited to join the Citadel Council to fulfill the role of galactic peacekeepers. The Turians have the largest fleet in Citadel space, and they make up the single largest portion of the Council's military forces. As their territory and influence has spread, the Turians have come to rely on the Salarians for military intelligence and the Asari for diplomacy. Despite a somewhat colonial attitude towards the rest of the galaxy, the ruling hierarchy understands they would lose more than they would gain if the other two races were ever removed. Turians come from an autocratic society that values discipline and possesses a strong sense of personal and collective honor. There is lingering animosity between Turians and humans over the First Contact War of 2157, which is known as the Relay 314 incident to the Turians. Officially, however, the two species are allies, and they enjoy civil, if cool, diplomatic relations. Interesting. All right, well, let's talk to Nihilus, I guess, since the captain isn't here yet. I wonder where he is. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Is someone gonna fill me in, Captain? We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. What's the payload, Captain? A research team on Eden Prime. Unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Are we expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. 
You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! We are under attack, taking heavy casualties! I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't... Get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold at 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly, without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. Whoa. This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles are everywhere. Your guard up. What started as an innocent shakedown run to a paradise of a planet has left us in the middle of a war zone. And what was that huge ship in that video feed? And what else is going on here? Well, I guess we'll have to stay tuned and find out. This is Intrepid83 signing off. But first, let's find out more about who the Spectres actually are. Spectres are agents from the Office of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance and answer only to the Citadel Council. They are elite military operatives, granted the authority to deal with threats to peace and stability in whatever way they deem necessary. They operate independently or in groups of two or three. Some are empathetic peacekeepers, resolving disputes through diplomacy. Others are cold-blooded assassins, ruthlessly dispatching problem individuals. All get the job done one way or another, often operating outside the bounds of galactic law. The Spectres were founded after the Salarians joined the Council. For many years, they operated in secrecy as backroom problem solvers. Only after the Krogan rebellions did their activities become publicized. Assignment of a Spectre is less contentious than a military deployment, but makes it clear that the Council is concerned about a situation. And that even adds more to what exactly is going on here. Well, I guess we'll have to find out. This is Intrepid83 signing off. Thank you for watching and have a good one.